Good morning, beautifuls. Yes, I'm wearing my hat. And I know you guys saw some videos of my hair last year. It was um, fairly short. Oh, I have a weighted vest on, so it's like the hair is stuck in it. Um, yes, what I wanted to do last year, I actually wanted to try having short hair. So I ended up cutting my hair on my own. <laughs> yes, because it's all straight, right? So it's, um, you don't really need to go to a hairdresser. It's like all one length. Uh, and uh, I had, um, I have had in the past like layers and stuff and I love them. I love layers and bangs and all sorts of, um, you know, nice haircuts. But for some reason, just doesn't look that great on me. Uh, per se. So I just ended up just sticking to uh, one length type of hair. Um, yes, so my hair was, and I'm not even kidding about this. So I think I cut my hair like in August of last year, right? Kept getting shorter and shorter. And at one point it was up to here. And this whole thing grew in like a year, a year and and a, half, a year and like two months um, and I have been trimming it in between and all that stuff so that's pretty good I'm hoping to have my hair the next year grown all the way down my back like it was almost to my butt sort of speak like it was um, prior to me cutting it sorry guys I'm just making myself a cup of tea okay fine I'll bring you with me um, so yeah so I've realized that uh, the short hair is beautiful on so many people and that's the reason why I wanted to really try having short hair and straightening it and everything the problem is once again um, my hair structure just did not allow for that I have uh, thick and frizzy hair so the shorter it is the frizzier it gets and there's my cup of tea I'm gonna go outside so that's what happened and uh, I realized that okay I guess long even hair is the path for me um, never had a perm I think I've had my hair straightened before and when I was a child my mother had my hair cut like a boy me and my sister's hair we had haircuts like a boy so that was done as well I don't even know why it happened I was not happy about it I was pretty upset but uh, she ended up cutting her hair like that and um, and yeah and then I've had it up to here so I've had a few hairstyles uh, as for color it's it has been mostly in the shade of brown unless it accidentally went to orange that was not something that was intentional or red nothing wrong with those colors it's just not me doing it purposefully <laughs> um so yeah it's always been in the brown family like light brown i did have a period where i went blonde like really blonde my hair became blonder and blonder um it took me a few years to realize that just didn't look uh, right on me because of my skin color it really washed me out but of course um I had to kind of find that out on my own. Pretty stubborn in that sense. So it took me a long time to figure out that, honey, that hair is just washing you out. It ain't for you. Um, so finally, after four years of having hair, blonde hair that became blonder and blonder, I finally had enough. And then one day I just bought hair dye, came home and, uh, dyed my hair brown and of course my hair was so blonde so bleached that the brown was absorbed so fast like my hair literally absorbed it it's as though it was starving and it just absorbed the brown this is my natural brown by the way this is not uh, a dye and from then forward I started dyeing the ha my hair on my own at home I did not want to go to hairdressers anymore it was too chemically infused and it was also very expensive um, to have my hair dyed. It was, and I had to go back and have touch-ups and all that stuff like every two, three, three months. And uh, 
it was just absolutely ridiculous when I could do it for 30 bucks at home at home because I started buying the Nutri Tint and Herba Tint um, hair dye, the natural ones, just to get my hair kind of on the right path of healing. Um, had so many split ends and all sorts of stuff. So yeah, for two reasons, I wanted my hair healthier, much healthier, <laughs> and I did not want to spend um, money to damage my hair. So I just started to do it on my own. So I have not been to a hairdresser in like eight years. Just do my own hair at home and uh, yeah. And I would experiment with like different shades of browns with the herbit tint. Sometimes it would turn more orange than brown. Of course, not what I was aiming for. <laughs> um, but for the most part, just want to keep it brown. So right now it's all natural. I would like it a little bit lighter, the hair, but I don't know. We'll see. You guys, I don't know if you can see it. So that's where things sit. And if you're wondering what this green tape here is, this green tape is actually protection because my bus needs to dry and then the slide out from underneath, this part here needs to be glued to this part. There's a little bit of a gap that it's coming apart, but I put the green painter's tape on to protect it from the rain. And as soon as it has completely dried, as soon as the weather is, um, is, um, it is as soon as it's not raining uh, for at least, I don't know, four or five days that it dries up, I will epoxy it. I did that for all the slide outs. So that's what's happening. Let me show you how beautiful it is. It's okay. Let's go on the other side. Turn you around slowly so you don't get dizzy. Look how gorgeous it is, guys. So that's about it. I'm going to go drink my tea, play with the boys. And I will see you soon. Bye. Hey guys. So trying to put this cord away. Right now I'm sitting in the car waiting for HR. He went inside this place um, to see if they have any flooring. So I'll explain a little bit. The living room portion of my home, my bus, is uh, carpeted. And that carpet now looks really... <laughs> looks like the 80s um, looks really awful because it's full of um, hair and dirt from the dogs coming in and all sorts of stuff so the carpet is so disgusting that I can't even um, can't even step on it anymore so it's just the area like the bus is like this right and then when you're parked there's slide out here and there's slide out here it's not the slide out portion of the bus that is dirty where the carpet is. It's this middle portion. One portion of the slide out has my table where I work. And then the other side has like my dehumidifier. Um, it has like a heater and all sorts of stuff where there's not much traffic there, like actual physical footprint traffic. So the slide out carpet is in really good condition. It's very clean. But the middle portion of the bus in my living room is so disgusting. Like beyond normality disgusting. Um, and like I said, I don't want to step on it with my bare feet. It's that raunchy. And uh, yeah, so that needs to be replaced. Um, now, I just want to rip that carpet out and put anything there like I could care less what it is I could even put a tarp but of course it's not really going to work but anything is better than the carpet that's there right now so um, that's what HR is looking at I don't know if he'll be able to find anything here in this shop but um, yeah so, and then uh, thereafter I think he's going to be going inside Home Depot to check for me 
Guys, can I just show you something? Okay. I, I get a kick out of things like this. So, this is like a little, it's overflowing obviously, but it's a little um, bag, sort of a pen holder, let's just say a pencil holder type of a little bag. But I'll show you what I put inside. I had um, the Stedler pens in here. I had so many of them. Stedler and then there was another brand too that fit. But I took them out and I thought this would be like my go-to pen collection type of a thing. So I have pens here. These guys. Let me just show you. Okay, these are just funky little pens. I love them though. They're really nice to write with. I bought a whole set and I chose my favorite colors. Okay. Um, this is definitely hands down one of my best favorite pen. It's the Velocity pen by Bic, the 1.6 millimeter tip. I love them in the color black. I love writing with it. This is a cross pen. This was not was not it's not like your average you know five dollar pen i think this it wasn't expensive either but i think it was around thirty dollars and quite frankly i don't really like it that much the way it writes okay moving on these this pen came in a kit from a beautiful mess these pens are from chapters and they were about $20 each. They're nice to write with, but not like amazing. They're just nice pens. I think it's more for the aesthetics. This is the Swiss brand of a pen. It's called, um, Con Arc, Karen Arc. Sorry for my pronunciation. And they are about $35 each. You know they're cute pens but once again not my favorite i think this is it's too short it just feels too flimsy and yeah it's not my favorite pen side okay this pen is the cross pen this pen is the lumi pen let me quickly show you the rest of my pens hr just came back all right this these are um, the Pentel pens, I think. No, they're the flare pens. This was from Chapters. These are um, Kate Spade pens. I love them. They're one of my favorites. They're about Other side has flare pens, Stedler pencil, Sharpie pen. Love it. Uh, this is a pop in highlighter. And this is another kind of a pen and I'll show you guys the last bit this has pencils inside that's what's making it bulky and here we have a micron pen a few more sharpies and this is actually not a bad writing pen it is called a zebra pen so that's what I have in my kit here and uh, so I'll never be, I'll never run out of pens if, you know, never be bored when I'm writing for pens. Okay guys, so that's about it. <laughs> HR is giving me dirty looks. <laughs> it's giving me bad looks actually. <laughs> so I wrap it up. <laughs> and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.